We'll literally show you the career that you've been wanting to see. Time to experience the nooks and crannies of Korea as with your own two feet on K Patch with Jennifer. That's right, it's a Monday, meaning Jennifer is in the studio for K Patch. Uh, how are you doing, Jen? How are you? I'm very well. Last week we kind of said our goodbyes and that we'd see each other in the future. I know. What a surprise. You're here sooner than we had imagined, Jen. <laughs> I'm back, guys. Thank you so Huge much. It's a pleasure to be on the team together. I'm glad. So yeah. you're going to be our new Monday guest. So mm. people will be kind of confused but happy at the same time because everybody loved you from the past couple of weeks with your depth Thank of knowledge. Thank you so much. Uh, but we want to address... Our regular guest, Kiwon, who was your predecessor, and she's been kind enough to send in a little video message. Um, you've never met Kiwon in no. person, so you can meet and say hello, say goodbye to Kiwon <laughs> okay. through the, me- the message as well. Yeah. Why don't we play the video for all our listeners? It's very okay. sweet. Hi, everyone. It's Kiwon. And as you can tell, I am not in the Arirang studio, um, and nor is Peter by my side. I actually wanted to come out here and say um, my official goodbye. I'm actually really, really, really sad that I have to say goodbye like this. Um, But I wanted to thank all the listeners uh, who tune into the Monday segment, who send wonderful and encouraging comments um, to me, but Peter, to uh, the Daily K family, and I really appreciate it. Um, Thank you, Peter, for giving me this opportunity, and thank you to the Chakka Nim and the Piri Nim as well. And I'm pretty sure the next host will be as great. She's going to definitely show you a lot more um, different areas of Korea that you want to go check out. So, bye! Aww. Oh, that was so sweet. She is very sweet. And hopefully we can see Kiwon again in the future. Um, but as she said, sure. you're going to be just as great, Jen. Oh, so no pressure. <laughs> huge shoe that you fill in. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You've got some quite tiny feet as well. I'm yeah. looking down here, Jen. <laughs> uh, have you been well since we saw you last week, though? Well, you know, I've been saving for the opening part like before because there's a lot going on, actually. Oh. And um, would you agree that most of the time mostly like life's big decision coming mm. all together very suddenly i think like buses sometimes you don't see one for ages in london we say this and then mm-hmm. like three buses come at yeah. once yeah oh, that's Is it a the good same example in, in life decisions yeah well it's been another hectic weekend uh one week um but i you know i think i told you before but i have to move to other place oh yes so it's been a little bit stressful because oh. of the real estate situation <laughs> very expensive but it was a um, life turning point for our family. So, wow. yeah, we've been looking for some new places. And uh, I'm really excited to move to a new place, starting yes. a new life. Let's be positive. I'm yeah. moving. I didn't want to move, but I'm looking at it positive as well. Right. It's been like a month now, right? We're, mo- we're moving out in two weeks, actually. Oh, okay. So it's not yet happened. So I'm just Did trying to be positive. Okay. Yeah, let's both be positive. Yes, Yay. let's be positive. <laughs> yeah. uh, today's hashtag, because we we're being mm. uh, chatty Cathy's here. So, uh, just before we get into your video, is yep. plastic surgery. Song Young Su Su. What do you think? What do you want to say about that, Jen? I don't want to pry too much. So anything, any thoughts on it? Well, that question would be really kind of surprising <laughs> and refreshing if it was like five years ago. Okay. But personally, I believe that this has become more very Pop, I mean, it's uh, it's a well, it's it's something that people, a lot of people do. Very mainstream, isn't it? And it's really comfortable issue, relatively speaking, now to just share mm-hmm. about your experience, your friend's experience. So yeah. I find it much more comfortable. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't do it yet. Okay, is, you is, never know. Is, is yet meaning you would <laughs> like to, or you really never know. 
I mean, like, um, I don't have anyone in my family who has done it. Uh So I'm not saying, like, I'm not going to do it. But um, honestly, I feel a bit scared about it. Like, Uh the surgery itself. like (laughs) The knives and the stitches and stuff, yes. What about you? That's the thing for me. I'm Mm -hmm. scared. Like, I I, want to get my eye bags, like, taken away or filled or something. Mm -hmm. But I'm just worried it will go wrong and I'll Mm -hmm. just look worse. So I'm just like, they're not that bad. At least... I'm, I'm fine with mm-hmm. them, so let's just leave it like this. And Peter, you're from UK. <laughs> yes. And when I watch dramas from UK or the US, mm. like cosmetic surgery, you can easily see that topic in the 90s. Sure, this so is I true. So I thought that maybe like people like you from the UK might find it a bit outdated. I don't, you, how is it? I don't know. In, in Korea, I must say it's much more widespread. So mm. it's not like a taboo in the UK, but not as many people do it. It's just like, oh, what's really? the point? But here, I think in Korea, Interesting. I, it might be controversial, but I think it's not. It's quite a looks space society like first impressions very important mm-hmm. and everyone looks so stunning in Korea so <laughs> maybe that's something to do with it and I'm not going to judge either way uh, today we're not doing plastic surgery for a video that might be interesting <laughs> one week where are we not going today well today I was looking for some places where you guys can spend a good time uh, in the summer and you know the corona situation is really serious mm, yes so I did um, in the video, there is an indoor activity that I filmed like a couple of weeks before. Okay. But definitely there are good places that I can show in the Children's Grand Park, Ooh. which is Orini Daegongwon. I love this place. I went just about six weeks ago. Oh, you did? And for the first time, I've been there many times, but for the first time we went to the Nori Kongwon, like uh-huh. the little theme Amusement park area. Park, yeah. I didn't even go there before because there's so much else to do. Yeah. You don't even need to go there. So where are we going to start? off. We're going to start off with the zoo. Oh, okay. Yes. I, I went there maybe 10 years ago. I can't really remember. Let's take a look. <laughs> okay, so this time I'm going to show you the zoo. And uh, despite the size, you might find it relatively small compared to the Seoul Grand Park, which is Horudegongwon. Don't get those confused, right? Yeah, it's a different park, but there are a lot of kinds of animals, Elephants. including the kokiri elephant over there. Little ponies. And you know, because of its small size, you uh-huh. can see the animals really up close. Very close. Do you have to pay to get in? It's actually free. That's another That's the bonus, fun part. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And the bear drinking water there. Wow, and we just saw some prairie dogs and a little looks like a fox. Mm-hmm. A tortoise. And I wanted to show you the statue of Pang Jonghwan. He is the person who founded the Children's Day for the first time in Korea. Oh, we've spoken about him on Yesterday Today. So he's like a hero for kids. Yeah. And this park was originally used as a golf course. Wow. So that's why you can see a lot of grand grassy plain with old trees. Oh, that makes sense because there is a lot of like grassy flat areas. Mm -hmm. It must come from its golf course origins. And also there is an original tomb of Empress Sun Myung. Oh. You might wonder who she is. Is. I have she no idea. Is the wife of Sun Jong, who is the last king of Korea. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And her tomb is there. Yeah, her tomb has been there for a long time, but it's been removed to Hongneung now. Uh-huh. So there's only the remaining, but you can see the remaining statues. That is the statue of Bu Guan, the military officer. Wow. I, and I, the animals. I don't remember seeing that there. in the park. Right? The park is so big yeah, it that is. you might miss that, right? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. And I was also surprised that there was an original royal tomb place. Yeah. In, right? in a children's grand park, you might not expect it. <laughs> uh-huh. And you might have also thought that was a very nice looking building, almost like It looks like it belongs in Gyeongbokgung or something Mm. with the uh, traditional roofs and stuff like that. I think in there, if I'm not mistaken, when I walk past, there's like a coffee shop and a a convenience store. And it Mm -hmm. wasn't like a traditional like Hanok or anything, right? It's actually near the front gate. Yeah. If you happen to go there on your right side, you can see that place. And actually, there were many other places that I wanted to show you. As you said, it's a grand park. It's huge, right? It is very huge. But I actually wasn't able to go to the amusement park, Peter. It's on top of the hill, isn't it? It's quite a walk into the park. Mm. And the day we went, it was very hot. It was the weekend. I wouldn't recommend it because... 
theme parks are best when the weather's like maybe 20 to 25 degrees sure. any hotter and it just becomes a hassle so I, I wouldn't say it was the best time and on the weekends this was before the corona situation got mm. very bad there were loads of queues as well for all the rides yeah. yeah and as you mentioned the good part about this park is that the entrance fee is free mm-hmm. so if you live nearby you might want to visit there like every day yes uh, it's close to my house as well Oh, so really? I happen to go there really uh, frequently. So this is what, north of the river, maybe a, a little bit east rather than exactly. completely central. Exactly, north east side. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's in Gwangjinggu, as okay. far as I remember. Yeah. And if you want to take the subway, it, isn't, there, isn't there a subway station, if there I'm not is. mistaken? There is. It's 어린이 대공원역. Okay, yeah. yeah. So there's no excuse, even if you've not got a car to get there. The zoo is open from, like, the morning, is it? 10 a.m. Oh, yeah. okay. So you can get nice and early. Leon was saying, yeah, he likes the fact that there's no fees because they can be expensive. London Zoo, if mm-hmm. I remember rightly, it cost my family of three at the time, like, nearly £100, maybe more, <gasps> which is like shibomanon to get into a zoo. And even the one really? that you mentioned in Kwachon, right? Grand Park Zoo. Uh-huh. That's very cheap. Like there's an oh. admission, but it's very cheap. This one is free. You should come to Korea. Basically. And I heard <laughs> that the museum fees are also expensive, usually in uh, like in the States or maybe in the UK. Because in Korea, you mm. can easily see the fees are free or maybe like chonon. Yes, you're right. Yeah. They're like nominal fees. The museums in the UK are slightly different because they are free. But yeah, you're right. I've heard in the States you can pay a premium for some of the museums. Let's Mm -hmm. get to a song. We've got more to show you about Children's Grand Park or somewhere very close by. Oh, where I used to be a member. I'll give you that preview. Red Velvet with Zoo next. We're back for part two of K-Patch with Jen in the studio. Everybody in Korea, please stay safe in this stifling heat. Our listener Cameron from Boston says it's 13 degrees where she is. I'd like 13 degrees. Sounds nice. I want to feel chilly again because even in the night time, it's quite warm here in Korea. Everybody go to somewhere where there is air conditioning, where you can stay nice and cool. Back on to our topic of the children's grand park. A few messages came in. Leon says... It does seem a bit weird to find a tomb at a children's park. I'm sure some children might feel a little scared. That's true. So it has not been children's grand park for a long time. It was oh, originally like golf course as well. Yeah, it was a golf course and before then there was a tomb, so <laughs> yeah. They wanted to be maybe respectful by not removing mm. the whole tomb. Exactly. Like, like you said, the actual I think remains have been moved somewhere else, but they still got the statues there. The like statues, that. only the statues. Yeah, and, right. and it kind of didn't look too much like a grave, like a traditional Mm. grave where you have a mound. I didn't see that. And maybe they could be taught about the history of a historical figure. I saw there was like a drama photo as well. That person is starred in the drama as well. Yes, I wanted to find an image of Empress Sun Myung, Uh but unfortunately I couldn't. Not the real image, right? Not the real (laughs) image, but you have to know that the era when the Empress Sun Myung existed Mm. was when the Joseon dynasty was uh, almost about to collapse, colonized by Japan. So a lot of things happened, including uh, Myung Song Hwang-woo, who is the mother-in-law of the Empress mm-hmm. Sun Myung. Yeah. Uh, she was killed by the Japanese. And oh, she's that the was mother-in-law. A huge thing. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And Ko Jong is the father-in-law of the Empress Sun Myung. Who we've talked about a lot on the show for bringing in a bit of Western stuff to Korea, like mm. coffee and, and being yeah, a fan exactly. of that. You got some messages as well from yeah, our sure. listeners. Sure. We have a loyal listener, Tropic Girl. Wow, an interesting variety of animals. That memorial garden looks so peaceful. Unique statues. Yeah, I I know many people Mm. are torn when it comes to zoos, right? You're interested to see the animals, but you also feel sorry for them, right? But I don't know, for kids, they're fascinated, right? And if you can, if we do have zoos, then I I don't know, I get kind of curious. You know, (laughs) I'm really glad that you brought that up because Mm. I felt the exact way. I mean, it's it's cute to see them, but I always feel very bad because you have to know it's a small zoo. Mm. So for kids, it's great to see the elephants very close. Sure. But uh, I can see the animals uh, behaving weirdly, abnormally, you know, like moving repetitive repetitive behaviors. Exactly. So that makes me feel really sad. Yeah. Uh, But 
um, the zoo itself has a long history as well. Sure. So and it's, it's always a, a never-ending balance. Like if exactly. we have no zoos, I'm sure kids would not be as interested in conservation and things like that. Maybe mm-hmm. it can have a good good role. Uh, Sarah Louise Walsh says um, there's a different zoo outside of London called Whipsnade. That's a brilliant one, and there are some bigger mm-hmm. zoos than that. One, I think that's probably one of the smallest zoos in Korea, that Children's Grand Park, in mm-hmm. terms of its scale. And also, you said a lot of museums are free in the UK, some zoos as well. Uh, yeah, London Zoo might be an exception, but there are a few others, like safari parks, that you have to pay for. But this one, as Jen said, absolutely free. Absolutely free. Fantastic. Yeah. Another message? Yeah, from Steve Fong. Very nice landscaping, adorable animals with a little touch of history. Yeah, exactly. The attractiveness of this park, I would say, is not just about, um, it's not just for the children, mm-hmm. but there are statues of different historic figures, not just the s u m y o n g Empress, but there were statues of uh, important in, um, independent acti- activists. Oh, nice. Just yes. dotted throughout the park. Right. Yeah, we're very proud here in Korea of our activists and independence fighters. Mm. So you can often find just a random kind of memorial to one. Yeah. Uh, There's one in the Yangje Forest, Citizens Forest, s h i m i n e s u b There's a whole museum in there just randomly to one independence fighter. I forget his name oh. now. Uh, but he did uh, something like throwing a bomb at some Japanese officials in China. Oh. And he's got his statue and everything. Maybe y u n b o n g c h a n Yun Bong Chan sounds right. Yun Bong Gil, maybe. Oh Yun my Bong God, Gil. That was Yi Bong Chan. We, we were mixing up independence fighters. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Yun Bong Gil is at Yangje Citizens mm. Forest, which is close to our studio, actually. Just for a bit of scale, the park, I'm looking it up, is 530,000 square meters. So we can't show you it all. <laughs> we I can know. only show you little bits and pieces, right? Uh, so what are we going to. Oh, we just got something from our producer about the zoo. There's apparently 90 different animals, 640 individuals in total. Yeah. So it's not a tiny zoo, like it's not a petting farm or anything, but compared to maybe, like you said, the Quachon version. Yeah, actually, E-land. there was yeah there there were buildings that only has animals from tropical area, y e r t e area. You or, could go inside because of the just, corona ah, situation. It, was it wasn't easy. Yeah, it was closed. I'm pretty sure closed even now. Uh-huh. And there were different kinds of like birds and the um, sea animals as well. Oh wow! Well, yeah. We only showed you the tip of the iceberg. Then I suppose in video. Two, we're gonna go somewhere which is like right on the edge of the park, right? Yeah, this time I wanted to show you that is more kids friendly oh, <laughs> building. So okay. I'm not sure that a lot of you might be um, into this, but let's have a look. We're seeing a fountain. Yeah, first of as all, well. I'm gonna show you the music fountain, l a p u n z u Oh. And you can see really close. You can actually get wet. You know? It looks like those people are getting wet <laughs> yeah. watching it. And many That's kids massive. There. And oh. this is the Seoul Sangsang Nara, Seoul's uh, chil- Seoul Children Museum. But it's not a typical museum like place. It doesn't look like a typical museum. Because it's more like um, you actually experiencing it. Sure, it's like a giant kids' cafe, yeah, I would say, right? Exactly. <laughs> Very <laughs> educational contents with digital contents. And this, this you do have to pay to get in, right? Yes. It's not free of charge, but, but it's amazing. But still, it's very cheap. I think uh, it was 4,000 won oh, 4, for adult. Won. But if the kid is under 36 months old, it's uh-huh. free. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. And there are places where kids can build houses and try things. And personally, I really love the spot where they can play with the water they and love the balls. That. My son used to get so wet despite the apron. Oh, really? And it just like piques their curiosity, right? In yeah. all sorts. You've got these little tubes where you're throwing handkerchiefs that get sucked up by the wind mm-hmm. and whatnot. So I filmed this like a couple of weeks before. Mm-hmm. So I know it's not the right timing to share this. To go indoors at the moment. Yeah, no, no, but no. But definitely <laughs> there's going to be the right timing. Mm. And if you have kids, and even though if you don't have kids, you know, my parents really loved it. Yeah. Because it's really cool inside. It's nicely air conditioned. And warm in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's the good part about indoor activities. That's yeah. where I was a member. I remember mm. now, I've forgotten when my son was like two, we used to go there maybe once a month or oh. every couple of months, 
audience because it's quite empty on the weekdays and yes. it's brilliant. Everything is for kids, like at their kind of nunnopi, their eye level and everything. Yeah. And the name of that, Sang Sang Nada, literally mm. means like imagination land, right? Exactly. So most of the programs that they, they、um, provide is. To just let kids draw whatever they want、mm-hmm. and create things. And actually, I wanted to show more buildings where kids can experience different things, like a Kyotong a n j o n t e o n where kids can drive cars and、oh, wear seat next door? belts. Just right beside the building,、uh-huh. there's another Kyotong、uh, a n j o n t e o n place.、Yeah. And many more, Arisunara as well. That is where kids learn where the water is originated from. That's in and around the Grand Park. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. I have seen that Anjan Center for the Transport, the Safety Center. They had like a little kind of road, pretend road outside. So you learn to cross the road.、Mm-hmm. There were some like fire truck things there, but I never actually went. It is a heaven, basically, Children's、for、Grand children, Park. Yeah. yeah. It's got that name for a reason, I think. We'll talk a little bit more about what we showed you in that video. Read out some of your messages as well after some more music. This one is from Promise Nine Fun. Although, having said that, Jen,、mm-hmm. I think it might be a little weird if you go in without any kids because it's like the children's sang sang nara, the children's、yes. museum. That, that's what I thought <laughs> as well before having kids.、Uh-huh. I've been living in my neighbor in Songpagu for like more than five years. Sure. But. It's actually a really nice place to date、oh, <laughs> as well. In the little children's museum. Yeah, there are many couples actually. Okay, so you could wander in there. Is Absolutely. It, it's not strictly. Just for、no. kids. Yeah. I, I, I think it's a very nice、um, place that not many people know about, I feel. Not as many as should know about, at least. So it doesn't get、mm. too crowded.、Uh, Sarah Louise Walsh was asking, What about disabled people? I wonder if they get a discount. I think in many places in Korea, you should get a discount. And most places have an elevator as well if you're in a wheelchair. Yeah.、Um, so this is run by the government.、Mm. So I'm pretty sure that they have some.、Um, Um, disabled people would be advantaged、um, sure. fee wise. Yeah, and senior citizens as well usually get a、yes. lower fee as well.、Uh, you were saying it looked epic, and there's also a children's museum in Dublin. You also live in Ireland, Sarah. Thank you for the message.、Nice. You got one from Siska. Yes, Siska. Whoa, the fountain. Wait, wait. Is this the fountain that Gio and Ellie w a s visiting before, Peter? No, that's Seoul Art c e n t e r across the road here. We have quite a lot、Ooh. of music fountains in Korea. And Another one、yeah. I know of is in Ilsan in the Hosugo on the Lake Park. I think Koreans like a music fountain. <laughs> yeah, the one that I saw was actually from Daegu. Oh, nice. In Susongmot, that's a, a very famous lake in the city.、Uh-huh. But I would say、uh, what I liked about the music fountain in Orini Daegung one is that you can see really close.、Mm. Yeah,、Almost、you can get actually、squirted. get the splash. <laughs> <laughs> you cool down. And I wonder、yeah. mm-hmm. in non COVID times, there's lots of water fountains that kids can actually play in. I wonder if that's one because it looked like it was coming out the floor and there was that barrier. I'm wondering if in non COVID times, maybe you can actually properly get wet in there. I think kids would go in anyway. Yeah, even <laughs> you know if they're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a run around.、Right. Uh, Steve Fong says nice water show and interactive exhibits for children. It reminds me a little bit of the Exploratorium in San Francisco.、Mm. Yeah, many big cities have something really suitable for kids, and I think that's the way it should be like inspiring their imagination, no boundaries kind yeah. of thing. Yeah.、Mm. You know, after becoming a parent,、mm. Um, finding a place to bring your kids has been like number one issue. <laughs> It's a homework or a very important thing to always discover and research. And I happen to find a lot of great places,、uh-huh. not just for the kids, but where adults can enjoy as well. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's true. Korea, especially Seoul, I feel, must have the high concentration. Of places suitable for families and, and children and not too expensive because kids' cafes are very popular in Korea, but some、mm-hmm. of them can be quite pricey. But I think run by the government, if you look on the local websites, you can find loads of little hidden gems like、oh. this. Yeah. What about in UK? Do you guys have a lot of kids' cafes? We、Private、have ones? soft play areas. So、mm-hmm. it's very different. Like here in Korea, kids'、soft. cafe, a kids' cafe, the great thing is like the cafe is lovely for parents, right?、Yeah. So you get nice coffee, you sit in nice chairs, and, and then the kids'、chairs. cafe looks kind of luxurious. In the UK, it's all about the kids. So the、mm. cafe area is 
is rubbish. It's these、oh. horrible plastic seats. It's like cheap coffee, and it's just for the kids to like go mental. Yeah,、oh. it's, a, it's a little bit different, I'd say, the atmosphere.、Uh, you got、I、a、see. message from Cam Cam as well.、Yeah. I should have gone last week to film. It's like the Exploratorium. Oh, you're also、Maybe、talking about San Francisco. The listener is from Korea. I think Cam Cam is Cam talking Cam. about in San Fran, just like our listener Steve Fong, the Exploratorium,、mm. I think is famous over there. Yeah. We'll have、I、to go、see. and visit one time when we get to go to San Francisco. Ying Ying has sent in some stuff that is. Oh, it kind of looks similar to what you showed us, Jen. Here's、mm-hmm. um, the administrative capital, Putrajaya in Malaysia. It's where families go during the evenings and weekends.、Wow. And here's the play fountain. I wonder if there's music to、like、that. It's just like Odin It looks pretty similar, doesn't it? Oh, oh and there's then it's, also a pool. Yeah, like <gasps> it looks like a very shallow pool, but great for little kids, I suppose. Oh. Oh, and there's、so、bubbles, giant bubbles that you can enjoy as well. The pool and water fountain are for kids to play in. You can have a picnic outside. It kind of reminds me of the Hungung River pools and fountains,、mm. which are right next to the river. Have you been with your child yet? Because of、Not、Corona,、yet. so many have been closed these past two I know, summers. It's just so frustrating. Yeah. I, How is it like、I'll、near the Hungung? That's the tip for you, Jen. In the summertime, once that's reopened,、yeah. that was our favorite place to take our son the first two, three years of his life. Because <laughs> if you go on a weekday in the morning, there's nobody there. And it's like a private outdoor swimming pool that、It's、costs like private swim pool for three three thousand one something like it's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. But it's not、yeah. running because of COVID. That's so sad. Oh, we've got another one from Leon in Singapore, right? Yes. So from the photo, it features twenty six <gasps> slides,、wow. the most number of slides in any park in Singapore. The widest slide and the longest slide in a public park can be found here.、Wow. The playground capitalizes on the、uh, terrain to site the three main play areas: junior play, adventure play, and the family terracing play, catering to children of all ages. And featuring diverse play equipments that encourage group and multi generation interactions. Leon, you sound、What、like a, a sports person right before this park. <laughs> All those slides, though, were crazy. One of them was going up and down that you can climb. Singapore, have you been to Changi Airport, Jen, in Singapore? Isn't that the airport that、uh, won the prize as the most beautiful airport in、yeah. the world? I think it's beaten Incheon a few times. You know, we were quite proud that Incheon was one of the best. <laughs> but when I went to Singapore, the amazing thing—it is beautiful. They、mm. have an indoor waterfall, but they also have slides that you can take from、in、one the airport. F- yeah, from one terminal like down to the other floor. <laughs> it's a bit odd. Like adults go in it, but it looked really fun. So you mean that slide is for the、um, the adults? Yeah. Yes. To move from one place to the other. Like, I think most、That's、take the escalator or elevator, but if you want, I think you pay、That's、a fee. That's so playful. Yeah, I know how. We should have a slide to take us down from Adidas、yeah. eighth floor, right, to the first floor. <laughs>、uh, Chef Jal has sent in this as well, saying, "Good morning, Peter and Daily K and Jen."、Uh, we prefer to have Jal play indoor in play areas or activities. Before the pandemic, he played with his friend during the weekends. This looks like an amazing、oh、climbing wall. How small is He? He's like my kid, and he's climbing a wall like two, three meters above the ground. And he's climbing. <laughs> wow, have you not? Have you not trained your child to、no. climb yet? Let's let's take him there one I time. I think we should try now. <laughs> <laughs> I I found、yeah. a climbing wall near、uh, Kwangmyeong, which is not too far from here, just south of Seoul. It's next to the highway. It's a bit of an odd location, but、okay. if you want, <laughs> there's a place you could maybe take him climbing.、Um, Jal, good climbing there. Well done, sir. Nice.、Um, and、uh, we had something else、mm-hmm. from. I don't know if we can line this up from Kevin Leonard, who sent in.、Uh, Uh, something from the amusement park,、uh, the Six Flags, and you were watching the fireworks at closing time. If we can get it, we'll show it. But if not,、mm-hmm. thank you very much for sending that in. With regards to the music fountain at Grand Park,、uh, Jen, is、yeah. that on all the time, or is there a schedule? 
Well, as you can imagine, it would be too cold <laughs> to enjoy in the winter. <laughs> it would freeze, wouldn't like, it? I suppose. Ice splash, right? So yeah, it operates from May to October. So actually, July is one of the perfect time to really enjoy it. Just getting that splash is always enjoyable, nice. right? Nice. And it operates at uh, noon and 2 p.m., 4, 6, 7 p.m. Ah, so on those hours. Just mm. like um, I've showed a couple of times my kids playing at the Seoul uh, Art Center Fountain. That's also, I think, only maybe two or three times a day. So make sure you look at the times before you go. Otherwise, yeah. you could be a little disappointed. Yeah, all, otherwise, uh, if you get there, maybe the performance ends. t h e r e l l just be puddles yeah. on the floor, which maybe <laughs> your kids will like. Who knows? Can I ask about the music? Because I didn't hear it in the video. What kind of music is being played to the music fountains? Just so, random, like, classical stuff? or? Well, I wanted to share, but because of the copyright issue, uh-huh. I couldn't share it oh, with you. Oh, was it like pop but songs? But there were pop songs, Ooh. but also songs from famous animation, b o <laughs> oh, nice for the kids. Yeah, and yes. some very famous OSTs, background music from famous mu- uh, movies, wow, films. Wow, that's amazing, isn't so, it? So, again, it's a great place to bring your loved ones and have a date. Lovely not only stuff. the kids. Yeah, that fountain's not exclusively for kids, and you don't have to be a kid to go in the park. Kevin, there's an issue with your video file. If you can resend it, we might be able to play it before the closing. Jen, thank you for coming on board to the team and we'll look forward to seeing you next Monday. Thank you. Have a great week. Let's play a song request from Sarah. You've asked for Henry's It's You.